Hey everyone, greetings from Hapdev. This is the Android 8.1 update for the OnePlus 5T. So let's get started. Before going into the update, uh, if you are not already subscribed to our channel, please consider subscribing by pressing the subscribe button below so that you can get the latest update from us. I have now updated to the latest version. Let us see what are the new changes uh, in this version. We'll go to the settings. And in the about phone, you can already see it's written Android 8.1.0. Let us see what is the Easter egg is. It's the same uh, Oreo biscuit. We'll just double tap on it or for the fun sake of it, for the Easter egg. It should be the same octopus with a biscuit face. Floating. Yeah, it is. It is the same. Let us go back now. As you can see, in the settings, it's already updated to the April 1st security patch. It is the latest patch from Google. Everything is perfect. We'll go back and see uh, what all are the update logs. So in the update log, there are four line items, hotfix and system level change. There's an additional gaming mode. And we also have a few tweaks on the OnePlus launcher. The most visible change is for the quick settings. Once you click on it, you can see uh, the pop-up is much bigger compared to that uh, was already there in Android 8.0. And uh, it looks kind of weird uh, for me. I mean, uh, it's a much bigger size, but it makes sense uh, because the settings menu is right now located in right bottom instead of right top. It used to be uh, next to the battery bar. And the date is also now located in the left bottom. Apart from this, uh, there is no other visible changes for the notification drawer. It's almost uh, looking the same. The second change is the addition of a gaming mode, uh, which is not that much useful to me, but still it makes sense. So once you click on the toggle, uh, it will be enabled. So let us go inside the gaming mode and see uh, what actually it is. So if you are in a game, if you want to open uh, a call via speaker, you can do it. It will automatically be opened. And uh, similarly, uh, the gaming battery server is there. Basically, if you want to reduce the FPS of the game and thereby saving the battery, this will automatically do it in the back end. And you also have a disable automatic brightness. Those who are playing the games know that if the brightness changes automatically, it will be much difficult for you to play the game. So this issue will also be addressed. And you also have a gaming mode app list in which you can add certain apps to the list so that this will be applied. And the other major changes, uh, the full screen gesture control, this one is a favorite to me. So if you go to the buttons, you can see a nav bar and gesture on the top. So if you go inside, you will see three settings, three new settings for the nav bar. The one is always on one, You will the same that you had in the 8.0. And there is also a hide nav bar. So if you click on the small circle on the side, the nav bar will be hidden and you can swipe it up. Similarly, uh, the third one is a navigation gesture. This is a favorite one for me in which uh, the nav bar will be hidden. It will always be hidden in the home screen also. So you can use various gestures so that you can turn it on. This one is pretty good so that you can use the whole screen, uh, especially when you're watching video or uh, movies or something like that. The nav bar will always be hidden. So that's a good feature to have. The next one is launcher tag search. This one is based on the launcher. It's a new feature added to the launcher. So if you go to the search apps, and uh, try to click there, you'll get various tags based on the functionality of the application. So right now I am clicking on uh, tools. I'm getting all the tools listed there. So it's easy to search that way. Similarly, for the social, I'll get Instagram, Google Plus and all those things. And for photos and beauty, I'm getting the photo apps. The next feature is also a part of uh, the OnePlus launcher. It's called the folder auto name. If you are dragging an application on top of the other in the home screen, it will create a folder. And the name of the folder will be based on the productivity. So as you can see, it has been named to social. Pretty much that's from me guys for this video. If you have updated your 5T to the latest 8.1 version, let me know in the comments that if you have find anything else other than these features. And it's always uh, better to help out somebody else. And also please subscribe, like and share our videos. Have a great day.